Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, we, you, me, Richard, us, we're all together here in Finley, Finlay, Ohio, at Jeffrey's Antique Gallery. It has been probably one of the most recommended antique malls uh, in comments, in shoppers. Um, so you guys, I'm really excited. Never been here before, have never filmed here before. Uh, highly recommended. We're gonna get inside, see if we can find anything. Let's do it. Here we go. I'll say it, it's uh, quite large. And it runs down that way. Now that's not saying much. Such the gentleman. He's got the door. Let's do it, guys. Okay, so here we are on the entrance. We do have, oh my gosh, there's Sears. Let's talk about the vintage life. Um, bless. So we do have the Sears shopping cart. That is awesome. Couple cases up here. It didn't really see anything. It's a little bit more of kind of like your man teaks. Some vending machines. And then we're going to head on down. I don't want to capture anybody. So you've got your checkout here and it runs down. Then we're going to get into the actual antique mall. Okay, so we're going to head on down here. And it looks like we don't have too many wings shooting off. So we got left and right. Oh, quite busy. So just going to kind of try not to get anybody on film. We'll see what we can find here. Some of the foil. Those are 15. Hmm. Not terrible. Creepy children mannequins. Love it, of course. And we've got a rabid bit. Ooh. He's almost concrete. Some great little grab bags here. Don't know. The Bendy Tiger. Kind of like that, not gonna lie. Ooh, we got some cupcake or cake toppers down here. The Halloween. These guys are really cute. Appear only to be $5, which is a great get on those. We got a large booth over here. Lots of glassware, more utilitarian. Looks like we got an old celluloid baby rattle up here. He's had a better life, that's all right. He's only three a dollar, so that's not bad. Large Weller, you would think this was mid-century, but they actually kind of set a trend um, with the colorways that they use. So it's a reminiscent of arts and crafts moving into mid-century. This was actually produced in the late 30s, so well ahead of the mid-century movement. Of course, we do have another piece here. Um, some blue opalescent glass over here. You all know I am a giant sucker for the blue opalescence. So we got what? $29.50 here. $42.50. I like this little berry bowl here. It's quite deep on that one. It looks like an earlier Fenton. Hmm. Actually, I think looking at that milk glass, it's probably a 50s or 60s piece. Still nice and vintage. Tag's gonna fight us. 36.50. So we're gonna leave that one there. Let's see what else we can find, guys. Oh, we've got some Florence ceramics here. Those aren't bad. They don't haven't sold very well for me. So I'm a personal fan of those, but. Ooh, we've got lots of goodies over here. Let's check it out. See what we can find. Lots of chalkware. Owl lamps? What do you call a whole family of owls? I don't know. You'll have to let me know down in the comments. Got some amethyst and poly here. The brandy snifter. Great quilted optic on that one. Let's see what else we can find. 1950, that's not bad, but I'm gonna hold on. Giant on. snifter here. That's actually, oh, it's got Christ, what does that say? What does that say? Christ something handmade in Italy. 3450, that thing is massive. That's actually a good deal. I would prefer it to be a different red mid-century case. Is that a bubble? Yes. Let's look at the bottom. For $3? Uh -huh. Let's get that for 3 I mean, how can it's you go really wrong? Pretty. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. 
You know what? We have our flashlight. Did you know that? It's true. Mm, I don't get a fluoresce. I'm not overly mad at it. At three bucks, I don't think you can go wrong. You know, not the most exciting of pieces, but at the 450 in the amethyst, this is Viking. So we'll go ahead and get that one too. Cute little pedestal. You know, you could set your vase on there and kind of elevate it. It's not a bad look. Richard spotted something. That's cranberry, right? Cranberry. Okay. 49.50. Richard's gonna go get us a cart. He's gonna get us one of the old Sears carts. All of the car. Oh, let's get it for 6.50. Yep. Mine as well. I love the color. Hey, this booth had some, not overly dynamic, but great pieces, great introductory pieces for collecting. We'll see what else we can find here. Looks like you found a barber bottle, <laughs> loosely. Uh, look mm. at the price. The price is a dollar fifty. That would be great. Like it's, it's good almost like it. a slag. Uh -huh. A buck fifty. Why not? Let's do it another something a dollar that's pushing it for me i know it's a dollar but you know, you know if you get two you've doubled your money right <laughs> right <laughs> he's got jokes now all of a sudden folks he's getting more comfortable on camera <laughs> these are really cool these are new in packaging i don't know that the packaging frankly is overly exciting but they are these wooden puppets, $10, Heller. I'm gonna do a comp on these just to make sure I'm not, you know, cause just because doesn't mean anything, but I like this soldier uh, clown warning. So we've got a clown here. These are really cute, 10. I don't know if I'm overly. So we've got three different designs and a fourth, the soldier, a repeat. Let's see if, what does he have here? A little pail? It's kind of like the um, the Jack puppets, but you see you can pull the string there. That's cute. Let me see about these. Currently, um, there's only a bird that is listed for sale, and it's 50. I'm going to take a chance and get the three of them. I think that they're fun. I've never seen them before. I really like the clowns, love the soldier the most, frankly, but let's get all of them. All right, we got some salt and pepper shakers over here. Oh, there's our Ventella and our Huggy Bears. These are a little bit more common, so $8, that's still a good get, gosh darn it. But just a little too common. So we'll leave those guys there. Uh, let's see. Oh, you got a little condiment jar there. Is it's pricey, it, but it's really pointy. How pricey? 65. Oh, oh, for the set? Uh-huh. Not hateful for the set. But feel how Yeah, sharp. they're the sharp. So he was saying to Richard earlier, the sharper the point, the older. They have a tendency to be, oh yeah, look at that, even on the bottom. Uh, the more rounded they are, that hobnail, they have a tendency you're getting up into like the 60s and 70s, so... It's an easy tell, it's not 100%, but that's one way that I kind of help do age them. Um, yeah, I mean, him at 10 isn't horrible, but I've sold so many, I don't really... Ooh, is this the Renwall? Is this the Renwall baby? Whoa, look at that. Rawr. The baby alone is, oh, it is Renwall. I just didn't see. Oh, we have a bisque doll head back here. No eyes, she's only 10, that's not bad. Loving the creepies here lately. Mm. Oh, got some tongs here, like some relish tongs. Oh, look at those. We've got the hands, can you see? That's fun. 20 for the tongs. Hmm. Oh, we got some more weird. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Michael. Oh, she's in excellent condition. 
She does have her arms. The wig looks to be original. She is in really good condition. We might have to hold on to her just in case. She's not creepy. I agree. She's not creepy? She's not creepy. Okay. But in she, the showcase... She does have eyes. I do like the ones without eyes. It's true. The one on the bottom. It's expensive. It's oh. Expensive. Ooh, Pelham. Love the Pelham puppets. Oh, that's actually not bad. $40? I might need to look that up. Oh, did you see that one? Look mm -hmm. at that. It's really pretty. 50. Red Riding Hood. I think that's the McLaughlin Brothers, actually. Oh, it says reproduction, though. So it looks like you open it, and it looks like there's a little stage play happening. Let's get down here without my knee popping. Okay. Ooh. She's great. She is an early... She's a chalk wearer. That's nice. What is this? The Bumbly book? How much is that? Let me see. 35 for the Bumbly book. So we'll leave that one, but that was cool to see. I'm disappointed. The witch seems to go for about 40. So we're going to leave her there. Richard found a little German piece here. What did they have it as? Germany. Stizendorf. Very ornate in the sculpt. Like she is a spring bride. That's beautiful. Love that. Typical, unpainted on the back. Meaning it was a lesser quality piece, but still beautiful and antique. Nice to see. This area is a little tight, so we're going to get up close and personal here. We do have some of the apothecary jars, which is fun to see. I got a feeling price is going to be a little bit higher in here because it seems they're a little bit more curated. Loving this. I wonder if that's not like a chewing tobacco right here. Um, some small candles. Oh, we've got some tin types and dirge types in and out of their cases. How are our prices? 58 for this one right here. We got 80. Oh, the tiny one. Love the tiny. How much was it? 58. 58. Not that bad. Oh, there's an album for the tin types. Can you see how much of it? It's upside down. Oh. Uh, Richard's going to say 175 That's $285. The tintype photo album. Boy, look at that monkey. Look at that weirdo in the back. Oh, those two are great. Oh, uh, the little monkey is at 225 though. So he'll have to stay in there. Where? Oh, look the riding hood. That one's 28. Handmade monk doll. Unusual, that's for sure. I think they're missing their nose. One of those green swirl. Oh yeah, you had I think yours was a little nicer though. I love the teddy bear. The little teddy little mohair. He does look to be mohair. Ah, I can't tell if he's straw stuffed. He seems to be in overall good condition. He is thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five for him. You have some more of like kind of like the um, prices. What did I say? Don't like our prices. All reasonable offers on items over a hundred. They'll be entertained. Lots of wall art here for you. We got Marilyn coming up there, but they strategically placed the stars there naturally. Great little button collection. We do have some earlier artwork. Oh, look at that slag glass cabinet right there. That's fun. Interesting. They have it as a doll wardrobe. I wonder if it wasn't just kind of like a folk art piece tacked in there. <clears throat> Leather bounds. He has a few. By a few, I mean 
a library. There he is. Per? Mm -hmm. Too much. Mm -hmm. We've got a Frank Baum book, I do see. The Road to Oz. Looks like it's a 50s version. This one's 15. Looks to be in overall good condition. Black and white illustrations. Let's see what our copyright. Woo! Is, look at those. Those are great, great illustrations. Let's see. Oh, Richard found a whole lock set. Black handles. How much? Such a nice seven dollars. So he's gonna get that because those are at least worth thirty to thirty-five. Mm-hmm. Okay. See, I remember some things. Um, Uh-oh, he found books underneath, too. Roll, I'll get out of the way, jar. Um, don't see a copyright on this one. It's 15. What did you see? Nice books, but they're priced. I don't, yeah, I mean, 15 for that. It's a little, the Bible. Ooh, look at that one. Gallery of Bibles. Let's check out. I'm going to assume it's illustrated. Oh, boy. Oh, it's fully. Ooh, we opened right. Oh, like David. Oh. He conquered Goliath. Oh wow, these are great illustrations. Unfortunately, it's separated. What is that? The delu- oh. They're getting washed away. The death of Abel. Cain and Abel. Garden of Eden, the creation. See. So at 40, I can't with that. But still cool to see. At how long this antique mall goes, you guys. And it loops around. And it goes the other way. <laughs> this place is massive. Massive, massive. It was definitely worth a drive. About an hour and 20 for us. 15 on the Flamingo Shakers. Meh. Little Royal Copley there. I had this one once. I think the gold detailing on this one's a little too detailed. I prefer it to be a little bit more muddled to be honest with you. Well, here we have a children's book. 15, looks like it's gonna be black and white. Oh, it's a coloring book. Uh, prefer full color illustrations, of course. Um, all right, let's see what else we can find. All right, guys, we are coming up on glass. Um, okay, so it's a little typical, I will say that. I'm not seeing anything super special. These are pretty. These are unusual. I've not seen this particular shape before. We have two for 39. Okay. Ooh. That looks like Schaefer Vodder, is it? So it is shape of water. You can barely see it, but there's like a starburst with a crown. Let's see. That one's 15. Oh, they do know what it is, shape of water. There's that. Ooh, Richard found an apothecary. How much? It's 40. Oh. It's an unusual shape. Here's the. Remember that hair receiver I got? Oh, yeah. You like it? Uh -huh. It's 15. I love the color on that. I think we'll get that one. So we do have, oh, this is interesting. Look at this little one. Oh, that's cute. 14 blue satin bud face. What are these flowers called? I can't remember. What do you think of this? Oh, we found a clock shelf. $24. You better buy that. Right. These things are normally like 80 to 300. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is this original, the black, or do you yeah. think that one? You think it is? Yeah. yeah. What are these flowers called? Uh, Lily of the Valley. Lily of the Valley. I, look at that. It's 15, though. 
don't know. It's definitely older. He sees another one. Fifty. And this is called bead and ball, or no? Ball and stick. Ball and stick. Darn it. I'll remember eventually. Ooh, how much is that tramp art over there? 175 porcelain handle. Ooh, that's a fancy, very copper looking. That's super steampunk. That one's 40. But it's unusual. It is. Oh, is that wood? Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. That's even on the back side. Oh, it? yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what they typically look like. Yeah. That one's a little... It's very masculine. Yeah, it's got a great library look. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, you do see that cranberry vase in the back there with the opalescent. That's really pretty, unfortunately. It's $2.45. Uh, we have a satin cranberry decorative vase. That one's 45 uh, no manufacturer attributed. I don't know. Why is that coming up so green? In real life, that is not green. That's weird. Let's see if I can... Well, that's really weird. That's not green in real life, that light, y'all. <laughs> look at on the camera. Oh, wait, there it goes. Huh. Oh, look at... Ooh. Okay, anyhow. Oh, there's a little leak. Oh, I'm stepping on stuff. <laughs> I like that green jar right there. Larkin Soap Company out of Buffalo. Oh, some more Dirjo type. Oh, hey. That one's 50. The lady, the mystery lady. The baby is 47.50. Our gentleman here is 24. We have some that are missing. Oh, nope, the lids are underneath. They're priced accordingly. Those prices really aren't that bad. The baby, 47.50. That's a fancier case too. That's um, one of the nicer ones. Hmm. Alrighty guys, so in the next booth, I did find some interesting things. First up is this little tea jar, and I love the blue flowers on it. It does have its original top, as well as the under lid for it. A little bit of Moriyagi detail. It's not overly done. I think it's so cute. And it's only $6.50, and it is in the pond piece. Now, the same vendor does have some cases here with Christmas. They have a little Fenton Christmas tree for $6.50. So we're definitely going to need to get the key and get that piece out. That's what I can't believe they only have it for $6.50. Oh, wait. Is it Fenton? No, I do. No, wait. There's something on the back. I don't know what it is. So maybe that isn't Fenton. However, we do have some ornaments down here. We have the star as well as the bell cage over here. 19 for the bell. We have 18 for the star, which given the condition of those, not bad. We'll have to see what Richard thinks of the bell cage back there. Um, don't spend a hood out of anything else. Uh, got some Fenton over here. Oh, look at that. 150 on her. Some Fenton Burmese. I sure did find the blue, the cobalt hobnail dish here. I think it's 19? 14. 14? I actually have that. I think since, well, you know what? At 14, I think we both were attracted to it. So that's saying something for the piece. You did find a console bowl. It's an antique amber. 15. 15. It is etched. It's beautiful etching. <sighs> Different. Four or 15. Mm. Right. I don't know how I feel about it. Same vendor. So we got the bell. We got the Fenton tree. 
partridge or in a pear tree. I think that's what that was. I'm not overly excited by that one. Okay. The star. Uh -huh. Unless you are. No, it's just different. Okay. Now over here we did I did spot some fry glass. These are like little um, spice or mixing. It is fry glass, right? Yeah, they're only five dollars. I love that opalescent. This fry glass is quite collectible. Um, oh, they're five fifty. I thought it said five. Oh. Look at me quibbling over fifty cents. It's an extra two dollars for all. I think we'll get those though. Okay, Richard found some Fostoria, a little compo. Is. It is very pretty. 14. Let's hold off because we're getting a lot of blue again for some reason. And then Richard also found. Did you put them in the cart already? Mm -hmm. Okay. Check this out. This, These are candelabras, but it's 11.50 for the blue hobnail. That's that colonial blue. So we're gonna get those also. Alrighty guys, this vendor has some interesting things. It has actually been a while since I've seen anybody have JB Hirsch pieces here. So we have the Jester with the celluloid face and hands on the marble benches. Um, and then right up here, Gouda Percha, Gouda Percha, I don't know. It, there is a, um, a Durgo type, but in more of an octagonal shape, which I think is really interesting. Of course, we do have some interesting dolls it says mask face bear straw i think he is pretty cool the captain there um so overall some great stuff and a small piece of sabino right down here one of my personal favorites some louettes french and even some roseville oh wait what they have roseville louelsa and i think they might have met weller louelsa well holy glassware um it's nicely lit i will say that that makes her beautiful look at this viking pedestal that's only 35 Yo, um yeah we're gonna get that is this our cart yeah it is let's put it in there Shh. i don't know where richard is but he won't mind oh he's right there <laughs> all this glass over here mister Look at it just goes on and on and on. Two sides, y'all. Let's make sure we get all the best stuff. Some baskets, some compotes. We're not, yeah, you know. Um, ooh, one of my personal favorites is the Agronaut, though. I never get tired of seeing that piece. Okay, some satins, some Bulacantes. Interesting fan vase back here. They have it marked as a Fenton 29 on that one. Not bad. Let's see what else we got down here. Hmm. You know, guys, I hate to say it. While it's really pretty, I'm not seeing anything that is uh, overly unique. I think we did really good with that Viking drape. We do have, oh my gosh. Right over there in the far corner. Oh, oh! There's... I knocked something over. <laughs> in my mad dash. Okay. okay. Got it now. All right. So we've got our um, Blue Neek, the Owl Fairy Lamp. That's cool to see. Look at that beautiful dark blue. Okay. So I'm not as excited because the prices are getting, yeah, the Fenton prices are definitely more uh, pricey in this section here, which given some of the glass, okay, you cannot, like, what do you, all right, this is something to keep in mind. You got to have your stuff available for people to shop. This green compote right back here is what I'm seeing. And of course... Okay. The price is covered. Well, but look right here. You see? The ox blood. Richard has one of these like small the ones. ones. Yeah. Like, yeah. this is how... I'm sitting on the chair. 
This is kind of crazy. They're at 45 for the green. I'm curious as to this because, let's see here. That one, let's do this before we get too amped. Yeah, so it does glow. Um, I want to see about this and that ox blood too. Let's see if we can't get somebody. A little rearranging. This chair I moved up front, so we're gonna get somebody to help us out so we can get in here. Oh, look at the vent in the ruby red, that little fairy lamp. Not where I need it to be, but cool to see. Oh my goodness. Love it. Candlestick. It's a single candlestick. I'm not overly sold on that. I'm not at 69. I really appreciate that, but bleh. Okay, well here's the other side. Maybe we're gonna be better because this stuff is out of the case. Just gonna make sure you guys can hear me here. We do have the Viking, okay. And that dark blue smoke, that's 20 for the set. That's really not that bad. Um, some fun, I don't really like that one to be honest with you. Uh, lots of clear baskets, not sold. Um, is that? Oh no, cut. Ooh, a little Swedish glass. This one's interesting. That one's 35. Look at that Bulacante down there, and that is thick glass too. And some Ellie Smith over here. Yeah, I think, unfortunately, that's the largest amber glass flower frog I've ever seen. Look at this thing. It's massive. What is... $20? I'm getting that. That thing is massive. What? Okay, sold. I'm going to go right back in here because I saw... We've got some stretched glass. What is going on? Fenton Pink, pair of stretch clothes. Look at this. It's they have thirty-five dollars for. What is going on right now? Plus the matching. Oh, there's that's twelve dollars back there. This is ten dollars. Not entirely sold on this. Not overly sold on it. I'm not truthfully. This. I am sold on. Look at this. This pink Viking cabbage leaf, and it's $10. Where did you, whoa. Any chance it glows? That is a score, let's find out. It's a moment of truth. I'm just saying though, even if it doesn't, we're getting that for 15. You got it? Okay. Okay, so there's no glow. I don't know. Should we get it at 15? I think we should. I think it's beautiful. It's very interesting. Look, the way at, the, look how it's clear to light. That pink stretch glass, mm -hmm. the console, is 35 for the set. Oh my goodness. This is Acro Agate. Not Jadeite. Not Jadeite. What's you see the see how difference? It, well, Acro Agate is technically, they, they really started off making a lot of these doll sets. And they kind of popularized um, slag glass. So a lot of people will call a particular kind of slag Acro Agate, but Acro Agate is a company. The so reason, I noticed that had a slag. Does Jadeite not have a slag? Actually, if you look really closely at Jadeite, you will see swirling in it. Whoa, Richard. 20. That sure is pretty. That's a twenty dollars. Oh, Tiffin glass. Oh bum. my gosh. Ouch. That stinks. That would have been an excellent score. What caught my eye <laughs> naturally? He's over here picking out you high-end glasses, and I saw this little um, sugar, salt, pepper set. But look, there's a little red frog on top. Now it is missing its spoon. It's eight dollars. I thought it was just the sweetest little thing ever. Is it a Japan? Yep, made in Japan. I just, you know, look at it. It's a tiny little red frog. We're getting it. 
Look at this one. It kind of matches that. Oh, maybe not so much. It it matches. It's similar. It is in a pond. That tea that we found earlier. I almost saw that here. Instead of stacking it back up. But we did get this. All right, guys. This is the cart situation. We are not even half. We are not even halfway through the mall, and this is what we're a third of the way through the mall, and this is the situation. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get a new cart. Talk about a weirdo. This little, I'm assuming, bookworm. The sh ah, fifteen Ashland rubber squeeze toy caterpillar. I'm not gonna lie, if it was cheaper, I probably would have got it, but there's something about that posture. It's seductive. Well, guys, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. We have been finding a lot of amazing things, and not only have we been finding amazing things, the prices. Um, it has been quite a while since I've been able to walk into any antique mall and find so much at such a reasonable cost, not only for collectors, but as a reseller, it is blowing my mind. We are only a third of the way through. I don't even know how long the video is. I think it's longer than 30 minutes. So, whoa. Guys, as always, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day is or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works and you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.